Welcome back to the channel, guys. It was a busy weekend, but guess what? We here. This video says Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Hug it out. Now, before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it. Let's get into this. And wasting little time coming out here for hey. this conversation. Right. Sami Zayn. Let's go. All right, Jay. This is what you wanted, right? This is what you wanted, right, Us? Right, my dog? <laughs> this is what you wanted. You want me to pull up? You pulling up. I pulled up. I pulled up. So how do you want to do this? Let's get to it. up here in Kansas City. I got a job to do tonight, but you about to hear this. From day one, I didn't like you. From day one, I didn't trust Maybe. you, but they know that. I ain't want you around my family at all. But then, week after week, Sammy, they start liking you. That's when he was a hater. Jimmy right? like you. What? Solo like you. What? Wise man like you. What? Hell, even the tribal chief like you, but not me. I don't know if the wise man actually liked not you. Not me, Sammy. He kind of had to. As a boy, I always thought it was my job to protect my family, and I will today. Tell me where the aim I'm shooting. So the one time I put my guard down, to somebody who I thought loved me, what you do? You betray me. You embarrass me. You made me look stupid in front of the whole damn world, Sammy. Hey, hey, I called you my brother. You know what that mean to me? Hey, somebody said I second guess myself all the time. She might be right, but I know one thing from day one, you has always been a fake ass oops. Damn, we back to that? Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. Jay is really trying. He was like, hey, man, they ain't nominated me at the Oscars last year. I'm about to be on there next year. I guarantee you that, man. This dude's putting his heart and soul in this. So what happened next, Sammy? What happened next? I ain't got no choice. No, but to no, your... that's a lie. You keep saying that, that you got no choice. Guess what, Jay? You've had a choice since day one, and you choose to take Roman Reigns' abuse over and over and that's over. A fact. That is your choice. That's the fact. I said that on the channel a couple of times, and people, even in, in real life, and people are like, well, not uh, in person, I mean, and people are like, nah, oh, you crazy. No, if you've been watching the storyline with the bloodline since the beginning, a lot of the drama has come from choices. Either they choose not to or choose to do something. Jimmy and Jay have had plenty of opportunities to have choices, and they've made certain choices, which led up to what's going on right now. Now, uh, I'm not a profession in the field. I don't know about you guys, but with, with Sami Zayn saying that uh, Jay Uso was just okay with taking it from Roman Reigns over and over and over, pause. It sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I love you. I love this family. I love the family, do you understand? But I wasn't gonna take that every week the way you did, Jay. You kept taking, you keep choosing it. I don't think you're mad at me, Jay. I think you're mad at yourself. Hey. You're not <laughs> mad that I hit Roman Reigns with that steel chair. You're just mad that you didn't get to do it first. Hey. The fact that he has nothing to say about that says everything. You guys been watching this channel. You know me. I will celebrate. I called Jay a hater for months. And once I felt like he came out of that, he became a great person. I celebrated that. But now that Sami Zayn puts it in this perspective, it feels like that that hate has never went away. It was only then he only smothered it. You know what I'm saying? He just smothered it down and now it's rising back up to the top. Like the only thing I can liken this whole situation to is Jay is like that old head that's working at a job, been there for 20 years, got four kids, got a wife, got to provide for his family. But every day he's been planning to quit that job 
and to, to call corporate on that boss because that boss has been doing some messed up stuff, making him work long hours that he's not supposed to, going against labor laws, making him work on days that wasn't his availability, making him do stuff that wasn't even part of his job and not even getting him a raise. And all of a sudden, Sami Zayn, a young guy, comes in, no kids, you know, you know, happy, got a lot of energy, you know, take care of business. Nobody trusted him. Then people started liking him because they saw the work that he started to put in. They started trusting him and liking him and so on and so forth. And then eventually the young guy got tired of the boss doing what he had to do. After a couple of weeks, it was like, you know what? I'm calling corporate and I'm getting out of here. So he calls corporate. He's threatening the boss's job and he's getting out of there to get a new job. And the old head is like, yo, how you going to do that to us? How you going to do that to the team, bro? I would never quit on him. I had to do what I had to do for my coworkers. And it's like, dog, you was going to do the exact same thing. So how you going to get mad at him because he did it before you did it? Right. You could have just told your coworkers, hey, let's go look for a better job. And when we find it, we'll quit and leave like Jay Uso could have did with his brother. But I do understand, though, I do completely understand that when it comes to this situation, that Jay has a lot more involved in this than Sammy. Sammy doesn't have actual blood family involved in this. And anytime that you have to make a choice that affects yourself and the people around you and especially your family, like your kids, your brothers or something, it takes a lot longer to actually execute it for some people because you're bouncing back and forth, like worried about the consequences and the, and the bad things that can happen out of this versus what I need to do. So I kind of get both sides of it, but Sami Zayn is absolutely right about this, man. Come on, say something. You always have a choice. You always have a choice. Jay Uso's heard it up, and Jay finally taking out his anger on like Sami Zayn, who's now fighting back. And you had to believe it had to come to this. It had yeah, to it, come to it, this it, point. Ah, yeah. uh, now look who's here. Oh, here's Jimmy. Jay's brother Jimmy, and Sammy trying to fight back, but again, oh, oh. as is the Bloodlines mo, the numbers game in their favor. How many times are you going to fall in the same trap, Sami Zayn? Ooh. And a chair off the face yeah. by Yo, Jey Uso. I've never seen somebody get hit so hard with stairs. I've seen people get knocked out of the ring, but I ain't never seen somebody get so hit so hard they climbed in the ring, bro. Like, he tried to climb in and run away from the pain. That's crazy. Oh, and now Sami Zayn is about to be a sacrificial lamb for the bloodline. Sami Zayn is a... Put it. Oh, they falling for this old wrestling trope. Yo, I get it. I get that this happens in wrestling. This is a trope that you, you have to fall for the interest music and get distracted. I always say, like, I don't understand that, but I ain't gonna lie to you. If Randy Orton comes in I'm, and I'm on your tag team and Randy Orton has his music playing, please leave the ring. Save yourself, because I got to sing that whole song. I might get stumped out. I might get RKO, but I got to try to sing that full song before I start fighting. I'm sorry. It just is what it is. Rise fighter unleashing months of pent up anger. The KO chance ringing through the arena. Kevin Owens stomping the hell out of the Usos. And this is just stunner. Stunning traffic. Pop up power bomb. Hey, Jay, you started this, bro. <laughs> All right, is this when this they, they hug it out? Dang, I wish the YouTube video didn't have that in the title, because I would have... It's still great to see, though. It's still great to see. Yes. <laughs> I 
Look at, look at Cody Rhodes look like a proud father, though. You know, <laughs> wait, hold on. Is anything else happening here? I think that's it. You know what Cody Rhodes looks like? I don't know if you guys, like, grew up watching, like, 90s sitcoms. Like, he remind me of, like, that custodian that works at the school. And it's this kid. His name is, like, Lil J or something like that. And he's involved in gangs and stuff like that. And he's out here selling drugs and things. And the custodian comes up to him. And for some reason, in the 90s, when this is person who's the voice of region, the older guy, he got to be at least 20 years older than you. So he's going up to the gate like, yo, hey, man, you ain't got to do this with your life, young brother. You, you meant for better and greater things. I did what you used to do, and I became a jive turkey, my brother. Do better with yourself. And then Lil Jay's like, I, I don't want to hear that mess. And then at the end of the episode, you see Lil Jay go up to the gang member uh, who, for some reason, is standing right outside the school. And he got some weird name, like uh, Two Times Turkey Leg or something like that. And Lil Jay goes up like, hey, Two Times Turkey Leg, man. Hey, here's your drugs. I'm not down with this anymore, man. I got a future. I want an education. I want a beautiful wife. I want a nice family. And this ain't it. And then for some reason, the gang leader just accepts it. And he's like, hey, but that's cool. But you'll never be nothing in life. But once you're ready, you can always come back. I got something for you. You'll realize the truth. And they conveniently walk off the stage. And then the custodian's in the corner somewhere watching the whole thing happen. Not even saying anything. The little kid, little Jay, somehow gets eye contact with the custodian. And the custodian looks at him and is like... <laughs> that's what Cody Rose looked like but this was a pretty good segment man uh, you know it's, it's it's interesting where this is going what does it okay alright I guess there's another segment I'm gonna react to that but anyways thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate each and every one of you guys I mean this is leading up to what we thought was gonna happen the tag match at Wrestlemania let's see what happens thank you guys so much salute peace have a good day